My name is Leah McSweeney, and I'm the owner and founder of Married to the Mob. Married to the Mob is a clothing line. More than that, it's kind of like self-expression, I guess. At first it was just like pretty much text on t-shirts, and it was like my thoughts. And then of course it developed into like, you know, jeans and jackets and stuff like that. When Mob first came on the scene, right, it was really just all dudes. That's what made it stand out. What if I came out with a guy's clothing line? It'd be like, oh great, it's another guy's clothing line. But like, there were some seriously like big time haters. I don't even know why they fucking cared so much. Because it's not like we were fucking with their competition. We were doing girl clothing line. They had, you know, guy t-shirts. I miss it. Because <laughs> it was all like growing at that point. You know, it was like bubbling. And now, now brands are dying, I mean, it's crazy. I feel like it's kind of like a taboo subject because like maybe other clothing lines, if I'm like, so how's it going? They don't want to be like, yo, shit is fucking rough. We're like a day away from closing down. You know, no one wants to tell each other, no one wants to say that. Shit is really real right now, you know? And for everyone, I don't care what the fuck anyone says. When someone, I ask someone how's business and they're like, dude, we're actually doing fucking great right now. I'm like, you're full of shit. I know you're full of shit. My name's Tabitha. I am the writer for Married to the Mob. I've been working with Leah since I was like 15. I don't usually write things in advance. I'll like get in and like whatever is going on that day, I'll write about that. And it's great, I get to look at pictures of like naked girls all the time. Normally you walk into an office, some chick has like naked photos of women like on her computer. The boss is like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, thumbs up, titties, sell. Spring one is like a good transition for us. It's a little softer and like a little more playful, but still edgy. This collection was pretty much um, inspired by being a little bit more feminine and a little bit more forward, but still having the sexiness about it, like that mob sexy quality. I am a diamond cluster hustler, queen bitch, supreme bitch. Pretty much every season, you know, I'll have a basic idea in my head of what I want the lookbook to look like. Some shoots are really like, I'm like, no, I want this. I definitely know I want this, and that's what it has to be like. And sometimes I'm swayed to do other stuff. We're about to do a photo shoot for Married to the Mob for the spring of 2010. We're shooting Sarah McSweeney, sister of Leah McSweeney. It's uh, a bit of like a Lolita theme going on. It's young and playful, but sexy. That's the whole vibe that I think uh, Mob brings across. It's like young and sexy and tough. I'm rich, I'm a stay that bitch. Spring stuff for 2010 and the fall stuff for 2010 is really it's looking good and there's a lot of new collaborations that are coming up. My friend Matt um, works with Lacoste. They're like releasing a new silhouette, but I had seen a Christian Louboutin shoe that I loved and I always thought it would look so fresh as a sneaker and it had lace over it. So I basically did the sneaker like that and I gave it a red sole. That's coming out in mid-February. I don't have an exact date, but mid-February. You'll hear the proper information at some point off the mob website. Now I rock colorful mix because my pockets stay nice. I think working in this environment is just, it's dope, you know? I don't think there's that many job opportunities like this. Every part of here, uh, we all have to work hand in hand with each other. And we all work really great together. I've never had like a whole staff before. I've never been a boss before. It's like a giant fucking learning process. She is an awesome boss and truth. Not many people get to like see her in the flesh. We get to see her every day. It's really fun. Lost in my Rolex rich shit. I'm rich, I'ma stay that bitch. When I first started the company, I was definitely like crazier in some ways, you know, like getting into like fights all the time, fist fights. You know, I was immature, I was really immature. <laughs> and, but I embraced that part, you know, and I kind of like made that, that's like what Ma was about, like tough, crazy fucking girls wilding out, like New York style, you know, just insanity. But, um, you know, we have to grow up. <laughs>